everyone uh, thank you for joining me today look at this it's a beautiful weather uh, we are lucky because today uh, we really have a very nice sunlight and look at this gorgeous view uh, this is the Saint Laurent the great river and that's the uh, uh, it's like a 20 minutes by car from my home place and look at that. that that's truly amazing and this is our point for today uh, but before I will start I want to say a few uh, words about what how it will be uh, first of all you can tape any questions uh, in the chat I will hear what you tape and answer so we can communicate uh, thank you for my team and the technical support so that's great because it's like interactive and the second thing, uh, the goal of our job today, if you look, I change the angle, you will see the view better. Look, it's a lot of details here, all of them beautiful. The boats, it's like a, one of the best a subject for watercolor. And I want to show you how to make it uh, simple and fast as, as usual. So we don't focus on the details, but we, we explain our impression our feeling about weather that place sunlight so we'll do our best to make it really really fast um, this is the Sanders water Ford, 300 grams uh, I'm already uh, make a sketch and tape uh, the paper because the back side is wet so uh, my paper is ready and I'm start to paint right now and I will try to make it like in half an hour really fast and again if you have any questions feel free I believe you see the picture okay we can do that I move it a little bit so we focusing on the uh, on the that picture better and let's run everything visible it's good good I hope you can hear me. Yeah, yes, good question. Um, as I say, I put the water on the back. That's why I have to prepare my sketch in advance. I put the water on the back and tape it. So it's ready. To, to be useful. Great, thank you. And uh, you know, uh, I opened the uh, the weather network today at the morning. It should be stormy rain, but uh, thanks God, we really have a very nice, really I can say summer weather. It's really really cool. I'm just feel blessed because of the weather. Truly amazing. And you know, I keep uh, my my board with a very strong angle. It's like a, a more than 45 degrees just to make it visible on the camera. It's not exactly comfortable for painting, but it's good for for recording. Uh, this is a Ponte Clair uh, Yacht yeah, Club. <laughs> Hello, Montreal. It's it's extremely beautiful place. I'm not sure what you hear the sound, but the the bells on on yacht it's it sounds great. Hello Lisbon, beautiful Portugal. Thank you for joining me today.
so I use as usual I use my travel palette so I limited in the numbers of colors it's just uh, nine on my palette but I believe I'm gonna use just uh, four or five for this we don't need more hello Colombia The most simple part, I mean, the sky is almost done, and we can go to the to the most interesting part. I mean, the boat itself. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, okay, uh, we have a. 50 people uh, online thank you very much for joining me today i'm really appreciated uh maybe you know maybe not maybe you remember that uh, if uh, i'm start my week from this meeting conversation and painting uh you know it's like a, a lot of like a battery for the whole the week i feel really really good so i appreciate what you uh, join me today and please if you don't mind give us a like because if we have more likes uh that video will be more visible and we have more people because not everybody know what we are online today so if you don't mind thank you for this hello south africa hello spain so, uh, as I say, the, the sky is done. We back to, to that bar, just make some board here, what you can see there. It's the uh, on the end of the river. But this, as I say, is the most interesting part. That's why I switched to the little bit smaller brush. And the trick is, I will keep a lot of, you, see, you can see that on the, on the real boats, we have a lot of lights and I keep it like a clear white paper or highlights that means all that things have to be a little bit darker and for sure i will care about the reflection but just a little bit because there is no like a lot of re reflection because of the windy so we can be uh, soft with that and my main blue color here it's a cobalt all my mixes uh, there will be with the cobalt and queen sienna that's two main guys Hello India, thank you. Yeah, I like that view as well. Hello Germany. Hello Turkey. We have a lot of countries. Thank you very much for that. Hello Austria. Hello Brazil. So as I say, uh, it's not the goal to pick up the details. It's the goal to explain all that boats together. So that's what I'm focusing on. And uh, again, I'm playing with the just uh, mostly with the three colors: cobalt, indigo to make my mix darker, and the queen sienna. And the trick is to keep the visible highlights and care about the gradients. Да, с обратной стороны лист я намочил до того, как начал писать минут за 15. Thank you for question on Russian. Hello Ukraine! Slava Ukraini! Uh, uh, right now I'm in uh, Montreal Island, the place called uh, Ponte Clair, uh, and this is a, a yacht club. 
very beautiful view and uh, I'm just lucky because it's just 20 minutes by car a little bit maybe a little bit less from my home and again I'm lucky with the weather so that's that's nice Hello, Iran. So, uh, technically what I'm doing now, I paint something uh, on top of the highlights. And after that, I make the darker line and the bottom part of the board. So it's like a, in two steps. Thank you for question about Italy. Uh, I don't remember exactly the month, but I will be in Italy uh, this year for the two days workshop. You can find all the schedule about my workshops on the website watercolonline.com. Um, this year on front of me, uh, six countries and welcome to join me. Uh, you have to know all the workshops are different. So we all the time use the different subjects or different program. So that's why I have a few students who follow in me uh, from country to country, because the subjects are interesting. We paint in some times on the plein air. So please uh, check the schedule and you will find the dates exact. Yes, the back side of the paper is uh, wet. The front side is completely dry. That's why I can use the dry brush strokes like what I'm doing now. And I like how it's look like. So I, this is the rough paper. That's why I have a chance to use the texture. And I like how the texture look like. So that's good point. Yeah, that video will be available on the, um, on the Instagram channel. We save it. So you can watch it again and plus my wife Oksana right now recording uh, the video on iPad and we post it on the uh, on the YouTube channel uh, as usual so you can watch it in the vertical position on the horizontal position from the different point of view and I hope it will be interesting so what I'm gonna do now uh, look that's my like a measuring of the bolts I'm not exactly following the sketch it's like approximately but for now, I'm starting to paint the water and the bottom part of the board uh, together. Hello, Australia. Uh, this time it's a Sanders Waterford rough paper, natural white. That's my favorite paper. Um, I'm mostly painting on that. Sometimes I switch to the traditional white. It depends on the subject, but I'm always painting on the uh, rough paper. No, not always, mostly. Sometimes uh, for the smaller size, like a quarter or less, I use the uh, cold press. And uh, except the Sanders Waterford, I am use also the Arches paper, but that's it. It's just the two brands what I'm using that I'm painting. And for now I make the washout to bring some lights there. You know, that's always problem with that subject because it's extremely beautiful. And honestly, I can spend a few hours to paint in the boats. It's not the goal of that job for today, but I'm really, really enjoying to look at them. I switch to the little bit bigger brush. 
and because of the windy my paper drying very fast even if we're talking about the high quality sanders with the fort it still happens This is uh, okay. The question about the paper, uh, uh, the quality of the cotton in the uh, waterford is the best on Saunders. It's like a top level uh, uh, paper uh, from this company, so that's the best quality of the cotton, and that's the main thing. You know, because we're talking about the uh, the really professional paper, um, everything depends of uh, the the source. And the cotton what you use in the Saunders company, it's really, really good. It's very nice highlights there and the reflection. No, seriously, we can spend a few few hours here just to play with the with the reflection and all that nice darkness touching. So that's just beautiful. And, and you know it's funny uh, normally uh, that after I put the water on the back my paper have to be wet like uh, uh, maybe around uh, one hour or something like this so for now it's almost dry already so that's a huge surprise it's because of the extremely strong winds what we have but it doesn't matter honestly so we just have to paint a little bit more quickly that's it and I'm still trying to control that. about the protection from the uh, light what do you mean what kind of protection you mean i'm not sure that i understand what you're talking about except the, the wind, the weather, it's like a, for the vacation. <laughs> but you know, it's not a huge difference between a painting and vacation. I'm enjoying the both process. Well, the front side uh, again it's completely dry I'm, I don't put the water on the front side so uh, it's dry uh, that's why I, again I'm using dry brush strokes and I like how it look like I'm using this a lot you can see that I like the texture it's it's making the painting look fresh and nice Uh, 
um, always switch uh, between two brushes, uh, five lines and the three lines. Okay, okay. I got the question about the protection from the uh, from the light. Yeah, no, I never use something like that. Never ever. So I prefer to keep the paper like uh, like it was, and because uh, I'm not planning to put my painting uh, directly on the sunlight after I finish this. Um, if if it will be like a something great, which is uh, <laughs> it's just uh, you know it's just the plein air painting. But if uh, I like it, if I want to use it for exhibition or something like that, I just uh, use the frame with a glass, and that glass protects the painting from the uh, from the light, and that's the best solution for my feeling. So I don't like the varnish on the paper, any kind of varnish. So for my feeling, it's not a good idea. But it's just the person. Okay, uh, even if they in uh, South Africa, you know, nobody want to put the paint in direct on the sunlight. Even in the house, uh, people trying to keep it like uh, in the shadow parts. And, you know, even if you use the high quality spray, any kind of spray, if you put your painting on the sunlight, in the few weeks, it will be clear white paper, I believe. Okay, we create the bottom part. We're back to that a little bit later to add some more details. So for now, I want to include some bright... You see, uh, I'm not sure what you clearly see that on the video, but we have a blue cloth here for protect the sail and a lot of colors. And I want to use them because I like how it looks like. So we're gonna do something like that. But before I'm starting to use this, I need some more uh, colors for the just for the water here so i want to finish it that this part before i'm starting to put the final details and the color color shapes hello argentina thank you you're so kind thank you very much Plus, you see, I, I use the chance to make like a white lines here because I'm not use, using the masking or something. I just have to keep it like a, like a white lines. After that, I add some details and for my opinion, it should be look okay and acceptable. And we have a in the distance we have a board of the river so I'm gonna make it <laughs> I'm gonna make it right now I like that brush because you see I can do the tiny touching in the same moment I can make like a big washing everything together so it's really really comfortable too <laughs> okay good question about the white paint and watercolor uh, it's uh, hard to say uh, i know a lot of great artists who use the white <clears throat> and they still make a very nice and beautiful painting so i take off my 
heart about this but personally uh, I don't like it uh, then I see, if I want to use the white I use the paper I want uh, I like to see how the the shiny coming from the clear paper and uh, then we you know it's it's like um, I can say cheating because then you see the painting uh, on the screen uh, on your computer you don't see the white paint it's look like a clear white paper and it's look nice but then you see it's in real it's completely different use so um, for my opinion it's no good idea we have a white paint it's just a paper and it's better to use exactly that that's what I'm trying to do all the time for my opinion it's a good solution and we have uh, some nice green tree there so I want to make it that helped me to show what we are on the board um, not like uh, in the ocean or something Okay, uh, I see the good question about my, my brushes uh, in Europe. Yeah, that's possible because we uh, uh, we run the selling of these brushes on the Amazon in France. So uh, on Amazon.fr you can find that brushes. And I know in Europe uh, you, can, you can buy it from any country in Europe and there is no custom fees. So that's the good solution. So yes, that's available. Uh, you can find there my main set with the five brushes in the few days will be a, a new set in the three brushes and the few brushes separately so yeah that's possible thank you for the question and you will find the link uh, for that brushes in the chat right now thank you for my team and the technical support So, uh, time to uh, make uh, some uh, colors here and uh, after that, look, we have a nice boat there, you don't see that, uh, that's beautiful. Okay, and right after that, with the details, we jump our painting uh, from the paper. Plus, uh, I'm preparing one surprise for you today, I will show you one trick. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, I'll take the big brush, five lines, and I'm starting to make the details with that brush. That's the surprise, with the colors as well. So everything together. Look, so I make my brush uh, sharp. So what I can do now, I can do this. And the same moment, I can blend it a little bit because we have a a lot of lines here, I don't want to make all of them, but I can play with this. So I like how it looks like. Look, you see, it's so fresh. Just one problem, my water and have to be changed because it's very dirt. Just a few seconds. That means I can use the something like a graphic design and the colors in the same moment. Okay, about the scratching. Uh, again, personally, uh, I don't like that technique. I respect the paper and, you know, honestly, I feel hard if I hear the sound someone scratch the paper. Again, I know that technique. I know a lot of people who use using that but me, I never use it. I don't like it. So, <laughs> I, I was on the factory. I know how the paper was made carefully. And uh, I want to respect it. Okay, to... Uh, to hold my paper on the board, 
and fix it on the board. I use the uh, black tape. Here is it. You can see that. You see? Uh, this is the mine tape. We created special because it's very strong uh, and can keep the wet paper. Plus, I like the black color because the other colors uh, make it so uh, so noisily. I see all the dirt, so I prefer a black one. That's why we create that tape and mix the special glue for this. You can find it on my website, by the way. So that's still available. And, uh, okay, another one trick. I don't make all the lines here. I make some of them because I want to uh, make it blended like this. After that, I'm gonna use the tiny brush to add more details. Plus, as I say, we have a very nice blue color there. I want to use that like this one. So we're trying to make the details without the details. That's the like a trick. <laughs> thank you for your kind words. Not exactly. I'll do my best, but thank you. I appreciate it. birds uh, you know it's not a lot of birds for now but we'll see maybe we can add something it's uh, you know I can answer on your question about the birds just in the end it depends on how my painting will be look like if I will feel what some parts look like a too empty or missing yeah for sure we add something but for now I'm not sure Thank you. So as I say, for now, I am um, I'm not making the nice details. That will be done just in the end. So for now, I'm working on the still big shapes. That's why I use the big brush to be able to blend it after. The light is gone. Thank you, thank you. You know, uh, that that's again, uh, it's a special brush. It's very pointy. Uh, I believe you can see how sharp it can be. So that's why I can make the tiny lines and use it like a big shapes in the same moment. Great tool. And the handmade, the master who created that brushes for me, it's like a genius because that's absolutely unique tool. Nothing like that in the world, nothing to compare. It's truly special stuff. Thank you. <laughs> you know, uh, it's, it's a simple. You mean how to make the straight lines? It's truly simple. I can tell you the secret. Uh, you just have to imagine that line on your paper. After that, it's coming itself. So I will stop with that, with the salt blender now, and I back to my boats to add the contrast details, what I miss, then I'm preparing my painting before in advance. So I switch to the calligraphy brush for that.
<laughs> and the question about the people with a party on the boats. You know, it's a morning time, there is no party. People still sleeping inside the boats after the party yesterday because it was a Sunday and I believe it was a lot of parties there, but not for now. So I don't see the people. Absolutely. And for, for the sketch, you know, it's possible to make, but look, it's just a half of the paper and uh, you see the size of the boats. If I'm starting to add some people there, I have to take the uh, special equipment like a microscope to make the people and I don't want to do that. It's, it takes a lot of time and uh, it's not like a way for sketching, for my opinion. And someone asked about the black color. It's not a black, it's just a mix between uh, the colors what I'm using. So inside all the dark colors, it's a indigo plus some different colors what I'm using. So we're starting to add the details to make the boats look like boats. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, the the morning exercise with a bike and and the, and the watercolor. It's good combination. I agree. Honestly, again, I, I'm trying to make it look like a real jazz. So it's not the details what I really see. It's a jazz noise which can uh, start uh, push you to start to use your imagination and make it look like uh, something. But I'm don't paint the the real subjects like like that. Just something, some noise detached. That that's the trick and idea. the funny question about the balloon in the sky yes but uh, you know it's a watercolor and uh, the rule number three about the watercolor I have to build my project all my project in my mind before I'm starting to it wasn't planned to make the balloon in the sky so that's why uh, I don't prepare the space for that and if I have a balloon I, I need a highlights on top of that and a lot of things so I couldn't do that that's why no I believe in the 10 minutes we finish it that we just go into the almost the last step and I switch to the bigger brush again a little bit more water And you know, uh, I'm still working on the uh, big shapes. Just in the end, I will take my liner brush, pointy brush, and finish it all that picture. And that's changed everything. I believe you will see that. So that's the pointy brush that's the liner rod right? um, it's it's working like almost like a marker so I can create the absolutely tiny lines everywhere and look all that lines what we have here it's extremely beautiful so I preparing just a background for them so now I'm starting to make all that stuff that's exactly make the the boats these kind of boats look like a 
like a dream boat. It's beautiful. And plus, times to times, I'm gonna use my flat brush to softly blend it somewhere. Yes, the question about the YouTube video. Yeah, right now my wife Oksana recording that using the iPad in the, uh, in the landscape position because on the Instagram it's like a portrait. And that video will be available maybe today, maybe tomorrow. It depends. Uh, I need a time to, uh, to edit in that and put the uploads on the YouTube. But yes, it will be for sure. Yes, you see that dark line, a uh, question of the board. Yes, you see that dark line. It's a um, San Laurent River. It's a huge one, but it's still the river. So I can see the board there. Uh, you know, unfortunately, because of the wind, uh, my paper for now completely dry from the both sides. It's, it was a too windy and plus, um, it's like a summer weather. We have a, uh, let me check. Well, we have a, you know, 26 degrees for the morning. It's a, it's a big temperature plus wind. So it's drying extremely, extremely fast. It's a 79 uh, degrees on Fahrenheit. Not too much for the morning. It's I can say it's too much, and it's it's not good for for the paper. <laughs> Good question about the century. Yes, I'm doing that. I did it a few times and especially in the oil painting then I can make it like a more carefully and under control like a trick. Yep. Good question. Thank you for that. So now we're gonna dance because that's part, uh, like a top part, I can say it's done. I don't want to touch it more, but this, it still look empty. So now we're gonna dance with that uh, tiny brush to create the details for what is missing and what I'm really want to do. And as I say, I believe that small, tiny touching changed the picture. Because for now it's too empty places there to empty information so we're gonna change that okay great question about the the paint what I'm using it's a Daniel Smith I'm a brand ambassador of the Daniel Smith paint and 
it's a, my, not just my favorite. I can say it's the okay to be polite I can say one of the best uh, paint of the world but uh, honestly for my opinion it's the best one and uh, uh, very transparent uh, very nice and it's like a it's hard to explain I can say I feel the sound of the paint what I'm used you see it's just a nine colors uh, okay here is a, a very simple mixes but uh, I use that nine colors for any kind of painting almost so I can mix everything I want and it's always will be transparent and nice and yeah so it's a Daniel Smith I can talk about the the paint you know many hours it's one one of the my my main tools and the favorite so yeah thank you for question I mean, uh, all that angles, that, that simple. Uh, you can see that some of the lines uh, just going like this, it's just construction of, of the yacht. Some of them like that, so something like that stuff. It's just a tiny brush plus a flat brush with a blending. Uh, I can show you again. So we just make a few lines. And some of them, just to make it softly, we're gonna blend. Uh, dirt, the colors <laughs> what I'm using, it's a dirt, so it's a mix between mostly uh, Queen Sienna, Indigo and the Cobalt. So, but uh, the percent of the colors I couldn't tell you, it's just some, really some dirt there. Uh, so, you are from India and uh, watching me at the night, I appreciate it, thank you. So we're almost done, I just add the final details there. Hello Italy! few more bright blue touch in there. I like the blue colors what we have here on the boats. It's it's truly look amazing. And yeah because someone asked about the birds, okay let's add some birds. Just make a final touch and to reorganize what I'm already have. And plus, uh, I want to add a few dry brush strokes there because some parts, for my feelings, look uh, too soft. And that, I believe, will be almost the final touch. So, if you see, if I add just a little bit more contrast there. For my feeling, it's look a little bit better. Hello, Spain. Thank you for your kind words. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what you hear. For now, you hear the sound of airplane, but before it was the seagulls. So we 
it done, we just need to add the two last things here. First of all, I remove the uh, tape and uh, I like the white board around. It's always look nice with that. And uh, the final touching for sure, we couldn't do, can leave it like this. Because I'm responsible for everything what I'm doing, I have to sign it. So I can show you a little bit more close. So that's what we have. Okay, and that's the view, what we have. No, it's, it's completely dry. The paper, uh, the paper on the back and the front, uh, it's dry. Windy, warm weather, so it's gone. And uh, th that's why we have to be fast. Uh, without, you know, if the paper completely dry, I couldn't make the soft blending anymore. I like to do that, so that's why uh, so it's take like a 45 minutes, unfortunately. Uh, it will be much better if it's in a half an hour, but that's okay. I, I like the view, and as I say, I can, I can paint it for hours. I really, really like it. So, uh, thank you very much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope you enjoy the, the view as me and the, the painting. As I said, that video will be available on the Instagram, Facebook and YouTube channel in, in the landscape position, more comfortable. And thank you very much for your time. Stay healthy and see you next Monday. Bye bye.